Good afternoon, everybody. I first have to tell you that I'm not longer an advisor to the inquiry into the bank crash here in Iceland since a quarter to twelve today, meaning that I'm now only here as a friend of Iceland, of the Icelandic people, and as an MP member of the European Parliament interested in energy issues. And as I know that Europe is being misused to let you believe that the European directives do mandatorily ask you to privatize the energy sector, I want to start about that. This is not true. The energy sector is ruled first by the Article 194 in the Lisbon Treaty, because it is a very important sector, saying that it should be possible to establish interconnection between the countries and that uh, we should have a good functioning and to have uh, energy efficiency. And then we have a directive from 2003, the number 54, who uh, foresees specifically that in small countries where you have less than 100,000 inhabitants, you are even uh, dispensed of dividing between the production and the distribution. So there were even rules in the European regulations that you implement from 2003 not to privatize. This directive do not deal with the structure of the power of the energy companies. So this is clear to everybody. It is not Europe that do oblige you to privatize. It is said in the directive that every member state is free to organize the, the sector as they like. It is under their own responsibility. Also, the European energy sector is under development and we are becoming more and more aware of the importance of renewable energy. And we had from 2008 the agreement on what we call 2020-20 to reduce, to reduce our consumption by 20% by, by 2020 and to have 20% renewable energy. In this perspective, Iceland is the best pupil in Europe. 100% of your produced energy is renewable and 80% of the energy that you consume are renewable. These are figures that no other country in Europe has. So there should be no pressure upon you to increase your renewable energy whatsoever. So this is uh, the general point of view. 